everyone, Sableye here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I have created possibly the dumbest team in all of existence. You guys can see it on your screen right now. We've got Dondoza, we've got Colossal, in case we all have missed Colossal, you know? Just in case everybody missed Colossal, let's see if this team is actually good. Um, I did originally create this team for Series 2, but I wanted to play it on ladder, so this is the Series 1 modification. Both teams will be down, to, down below, and there will probably be a rental of the series one one in case we're all you know done with ladder uh but it looks like we're gonna get jody's uh, san diego team here which i don't know if we can even win because of jet punch and like hurricane goes crazy into this but like I, I wonder if this just works like i wonder if tatsugiri colossal just works and then i can do something like i can have pressure with dondazo in the end game like i don't think anybody can cover everything and that's the thing, because they also have to cover Indeedy Armourouge. It, it's just a really dumb team that I'm hoping just works in a really dumb way. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's finish this one up. How do we do this? Um, what's my best answer to things here? Armourouge isn't great. So I feel like I just go Spec Skull, then go to Clean. But Spec Skull, then go to Clean kinda... It's kinda shaky, so do I just bring Indeedy for follow me purposes? Like... All three of these kind of suck, so I guess I'm going to bring Armourouge for the King Gambit. Just to the back the King Gambit. I mean, I guess Indeedee to stop Jet Punch would have been 100% better, so arguably should have gone for that. I also have to worry about Haze from Palafin. Now, I do outpace the Palafin, and I can tear a Grass Hit. Should, for the, should be enough for the kill, so... Hopefully, we can actually pick up KOs here, and we'll see what we can do. But Palafin Amoongus is coming out. That's fine. This is why I'm Surf with the Tatsugiri. So, they could hard pivot Palafin, Palafin in. I'm just going to go Surf. I don't see too many issues to go Surf. Terra Grass so that Amoongus can't scare me. And Terra Blast to Palafin. I see no reason. Now, they could Terra Grass with their Palafin to support this if it is Jody's exact pace. But it's not going to be enough here. Like, they don't put pressure back on the Grass-type Colossal, especially once I'm at plus 6. So, the fact that this is even a possibility... Is ridiculous to me. Let's see if this actually works. I, I don't know. This is gonna suck. It's either gonna suck or gonna be amazing. There's the surf. Thank you very much, Tatsugiri. I appreciate it. Uh, like I said, Amoongus cannot put me to sleep. They're probably figured I, they're either gonna get a haze or a spore off. They're gonna get neither off because we're just gonna kill Palafin. And they're not gonna be able to spore me. And the thing is, now, to, now Colossal's blasting through the team, and I still have Dozo in the back. Um, yeah. I, I think I might have accidentally created something that's very good at best of one. <laughs> um, it's fine though. It's fine though. It's a very good start here. Mungus is going to score. Like I said, it can no longer do that. And uh, yeah. I, I hope they had fun. Well, I hope they had fun. Uh, I'm just going to surf Heat Wave now. I don't see too many issues here. Arguably speaking, I could switch in Armor Rouge, but I'm actually okay just dropping a Heat Wave here, I think. It hits the Amoongus pretty hard. The Surf Chip is also nice. Sucker Punch ain't gonna kill me. It's gonna hurt, but it's not gonna kill me. Um, heat Wave comes up. Not gonna kill, I don't think. AP King Gambit's goaded, yeah. Uh, but this is actually looking like it's close to Surf Range. Ah, uh, never mind. I was gonna say it's close to Surf Range on the Amoongus, but they are gonna be that Citrus Berry here. They still can't put me to sleep. They could Palm and Puff, though. And yes, I'm surfing myself again. I, I get it. But... Is it a pollen puff? Okay, do I die? If I die, it's perfect. It just brings in Dozo. If I die, it just brings in Dozo. So they spent all this time taking down Colossal. Dozo comes in and shreds. Like, I just did too much damage. I, I, I legitimately don't see how they get out of this. Dozo, oh, I don't have Earthquake though. So I guess that arguably ma matters. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, that's it. Not overly, I'll just kill the Amoongus, it won't have protect, and King Gambit can't get through my dojo right now, so I'll just order up Amoongus, get my speed boost up, I mean, Pelper can't do much, if they have Pelper in the back, it doesn't save them here, it just actually boosts my wave crash, uh, King Gambit does not break through me by any means, and Amoongus doesn't have protect, so order up, kill off Amoongus, get my speed boost up, down goes Amoongus. I, I don't see much of a, I don't see much in the way stopping me from winning this one. Couch out cleave, that's fine, doesn't do too much. Yeah, Dozo eats that up, gonna get a little bit of lefties back. Obviously I did Terra early with the Colossal, so I can't change the Terra flying, but with Amoongus being chipped down by the Colossal, I mean 
I'm quite content. And there's the Pelipper. So this is just going to set up Wave Crash. I'm going to Wave Crash into the King Gambit. I still have Surf Tatsugiri along with an Armor Rouge in the back. So I'm not too concerned about the Pelipper right now. Yeah, I can potentially get... Yeah, yeah that that checks out. <laughs> that checks out. Honestly, if I saw if I went up against this in Team Preview, I, I'd forfeit turn one. I, I'd just forfeit turn one. I'd be like, I'm not doing this. This isn't worth my time. But uh, I'm having fun. Hopefully, hopefully this team is fun with Series 1 coming to an end. I just wanted to do something that, you know, really doesn't really have a place in the metagame. Doesn't really do too much. But, like, it, it's just dumb. It's just a dumb way to have fun. And sometimes that's good to have in Pokemon, you know? It also kind of works. It also kind of works, but it also kind of works. We'll, we'll just leave it at that because it kind of does. It really kind of does just work. Wow, I have not let it at all in January. Just looking back, looking at the uh, record here. Very, very low, uh, very low uh, number of battles, but. All right. Um, this is a little more dedicated range, so I don't know if I can actually go the Colossal route. Like, they also have the Garchomp as well. I don't love the Colossal Rush. It's not terrible, but I almost think Immediate Dozo is better. Mm, I could go in DD Armor Rouge and scare them into thinking I have something like Trick Room. I could also just leave Specs Goldengo. The problem becomes, I guess, Tatsugiri Goldengo kind of games, honestly. If they lead Pelipper, it has Wide Guard, though. Yeah, but then I just hard, then I just hard pivot Dozo. Uh, Colossal is going to hit the bench in this one. I, I, I don't think I can justify bringing it. I'll just bring the Armor Rouge as my fire type instead. It is a little bit of a better... Mo I could go in DD. No, I want the fire type. I definitely want the fire type in this in this match, guys. So, using Colossal makes me remember Dynamax. And what do you guys think? Dynamax or Terrestrialization? That's going to be the question of the day. Let me know down below. Personally, I love Terrestrialization. I think it, it, it's just how Pokemon's played. In my opinion, like this is how I learned Pokemon, right? This opportunity cost, pivot in, pivot out, cycle around, find your way to cons. It, it's just a little bit, I don't know, it just feels more like Pokemon to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, this is a pretty good lead. Normally, I would say this is a bit questionable, but this is a pretty good lead for us. Uh, they have to be concerned about the fact that I could pivot into anything. I'm going to muddy water and I'm going to click make it rain. I, I don't even care at this point. Like, at this point, Specs Make It Rain is going to hit everything super, super, diff uh, super, super hard. And this should just shred things. Muddy Water also potentially punishes them for not switching out, gives them accuracy drops. Uh, Amoongus can put me to sleep, but it can't put Goldengo to sleep. So am I faster than Dreadnought? Is Dreadnought paratyping here? What's going on here? That's my, qu that's my question. Like, what's Dreadnought do? Fine by me. Like I said, you can't put me to sleep, so I don't know what the game plan is here. Wish I would've Icy Winded or Draco Diamungus, it would've done a whole lot more, but... Here's a nice little Muddy Water. Little bit of chip damage, nothing crazy. Act Drop would be cool, not gonna get it, make it rain. Right, if they put me to sleep, it's an easy pivot out next turn. Because at this point, Specs is just gonna start adding up. Like, they can only do so much here. Never mind, I'm not going to sleep, Amoongus is, uh... Amoongus does not survive Choice Specs, Terra Steel, Goldango. <laughs> um, and now I can reset my drops and get my Dozo on the field if I wanted to. I probably won't, but we'll see what they bring in. I, I, I think I accidentally created a good team. Like, I legitimately think I accidentally created a good team. Uh, they bring in the Guard Chomp, so... It's not necessarily a bad thing to try to bring in Dozo here. In fact, I think I'm going to. So it doesn't matter what I click here, and I'm going to hard come into Dozo. And my main priority is going to be killing the Garchomp. Because once Garchomp goes down, Armor Rouge and Goldengo theoretically just win this game. So, main priority with Dozo here is going to be picking off Garchomp and we'll go from there. So, as much as, like, everybody, like, is like, oh, Dozo is such a uh, such a meme, so hard to counter. It's, there's counters out there and it really rewards position-based play. And, and I love the way that feels. Like, as a, as a Xerneas addict from back in 2019... I love the position, I love the board state. This the, the game of playing the board state, you know? Get the board state in the spot that I want it and move it from there, right? So they're gonna Dragon Claw. I mean, cool, you got some chip damage off. <laughs> Congratulations, Garchomp. Uh, Shell Smash is a little concerning and probably the most concerning thing they could have gone for because I really don't have much around that now and I don't 
know if I should be hitting it or if I should be ignoring it. I mean, I ignore their boost, so I definitely ignore it right now with the Dozo. But on the off chance, it's special. It's not going to be special. Dreadnought, is it? There's no way. I refuse to believe it. So I'm going to go order up into... In the chomp. Just take as much damage as I can right now. Yeah. 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 That, that checks out. This team is so dumb. We will give you guys one more because apparently it's only been 10 minutes into the recording. Which I find absolutely ridiculous. I thought it was going to take a lot longer. Or I thought that these battles or these matches would take longer. But I guess when you just walk in and... Uh, when you walk in and uh, click the Colossal Dondozo button, it's going to be nice and quick. And I do indeed want to continue battling. We'll do one more. Like I said, I don't want to do crazy amounts of games with this, but a few matches here won't hurt. So, <laughs> I can't believe this is working. I, I legitimately cannot believe that this is working. Like, it just shouldn't be working, but it's working, you know? Like, I built this as a joke. I was like, what if Tatsugiri clicks Surf beside Colossal? And then we had a Don Dozo as well for the, for the mind games. And then I just, like, closed it out in, like, five minutes. And, like, apparently it's working. So... Close it out five minutes with some mods I had in my box, and here we are. Um, okay, this one's going to get a little bit more annoying because of the fact that there's a Garganical, and it's not just a, a, a one-two, uh, not a one-two punch, you know what I'm saying? Although, Tatsugiri Goldengo kind of goes crazy still. Tatsugiri Goldengo kind of goes crazy. I, I think I benched Colossal again for this one. Uh, this is actually... Uh, Whose team is this? This is uh, Jesse Ox team. This is the San Diego winning team. So I think I go crazy with this just because it the like, Tatsugiri icy wind, like there's nothing they can do. I mean, yeah, they have Gardianico with wide guard, and that I'm gonna have to make a call on. Colossal does not make an appearance here. I'm gonna bring. I think I almost bring Indeedy. Is that weird? I don't wanna bring Indeedy, but I feel like I need to bring Indeedy. Armorish? Armorish for Goldengo. I guess hitting their Goldengo kind of sucks, so I will bring Armorish. I don't have Wide Guard. Maybe Wide Guard on Armorish would be the optimal play instead of going for something like. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not really too focused on optimizing this team, but it is pretty fun. Maybe Wide Guard over uh, Aura Sphere on Armorish could be a play. Definitely an option. Definitely an option, right? Like, if you guys are going to try out this team. You could, you could test it out. I mean, the Ndidi is also missing the Terra type because I didn't didn't want to waste my Fairy Terra shards on a meme team. But it, uh, it 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 is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, and I mean it's working. It's working. I don't think the Ndidi Armorous button is actually here. Like I don't think that's a button you click with this team. I think it's more so of something to just scare the opponent, sort of thing. You know? This is I'm a click Ndidi Armorous just to strictly. Strictly for the purposes of scaring you. Now, I'm Scarf, so this is an icy win. The question becomes, what is Goldengo and what is Meowskarada going to do? Is Meowskarada going to protect? I think my best play... Actually, what if I me what if I mixed it up? To Sash Meowskarada, I don't really want to eat damage. Uh, could hard bring an armor reach here. Eat the flower trick. And then just Terra Steel. I don't hate that. I don't hate this because Armourouge actually puts me in a pretty decent position. And if they knock off Goldengo, I'm no longer locked into the Make It Rain. And if they are just going to stay on the field and be sad, that's also fine. Uh, I can also protect next turn as well with the Armourouge to bring in Tatsugiri again to reset the Goldengo. And then switch out, get my, get my Dozo on the field and go from there. So it's... It's not game over yet. I'm also covering for a Sucker Punch from the Meowskarada, which I could definitely see them going for. Like, if they Sucker Punch Meowskarada just because they realize, oh, Meowskarada's, uh, uh, Meowskarada's dying. Let's hit the, let's hit this, uh, Tatsugiri so that it gets tipped down so I can kill it with my Goldengo. That's something I could see here, but we'll see what they go for. They are adamant, I believe adamant Meowskarada in this case. We're going to see Terra Steel on their Goldengo as well. I'm okay with this, but... It's definitely not the best of positions here. Maybe I should have saved. I should have saved Terra for. Uh... Yeah, saving Terra for uh, for Don Dozo here in this matchup might have been the better play. But then again, that loses to the back's caliber, so maybe this is the better play. We'll see. 
Well, Dango does not appreciate that. Holy. That's why. Okay, I was gonna say. That, that did a little bit too much. That did a little bit too much. There's a Shadow Ball into my... Uh, into my Goldango to eat that. That did way too much as well. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna protect here. And do I just let Goldango go down? I don't really want to let Goldango go down. Actually, what, what if I just did this? Mm. I need to chip the Meow Skirata, and that's the problem, and I can't now. Like, getting to a spot where I chip Meow Skirata is gonna be really, really difficult here. So I'm gonna protect, and I'm just gonna let Goldengo go down here. And if I get a chance to make it rain, I'll make it rain. Just on the off chance they give it to me, because they might try to knock off... They might try to knock off the Armor Rouge. And they are gonna knock off the Armor Rouge. We've seen that my, my Goldengo is faster. So now we're going to get our move off once more. Although the speed tie. No, I'm max speed. Why is it a speed tie? This, tur this turn was actually working. The turn was actually working out too, which is a little unfortunate. But see if we can finish this one up with a W. I, I hate to drag, a drag on another match and then lose, you know. But bring in the water type. Uh, how do I want to play this? Tatsugiri will die. But I need to kill Gold Dingo first. So I think I go. I'm gonna just muddy water to kill Gold Dingo, I think. It's probably in my best bet. In my best interest. And once again, if they don't target me, I'll kill the Meowskar out of here. Like, I feel like there's a chance to hit the Tatsugiri. Just so they don't have to lose the Donzo spot. The Don to Donzo stuff. But Muddy Water is gonna come out. Can this actually kill Gold Dingo? It cannot. And with that not taking Gold Dingo, this is really bad. Although Armor Rouge is alive, gets the weak armor boost, is gonna become faster now. Um Armor Rouge Gaming? Killing me off Skarada off. The question the question becomes, do I lose Tatsugiri or are they just going to take Are they gonna take Armor Rouge here? They're gonna hit Tatsugiri. If I survive with Tatsugiri, I have a legitimate chance at winning this game. Tatsugiri is gonna survive as well. So, Muddy Water now kills Goldenga. We have plus two speed on Armor Rouge. So ju just when it was looking, just when it was looking unwinnable, we're kind of pulling this back. They're gonna bring in the Garg, which is perfectly respectable here. Uh, they probably realize that I am Scarf. So the question becomes, do they wide guard? I would feel like the answer to that question is yes. So what I'm going to do here, what do you have in the back? I'm going to actually just expanding force into the gold dengo and muddy water. Uh, and pivot into dozo actually. Yeah, I like that better because now this, if they go for the wide guard, I kill gold dengo and they get nothing out of this turn. If they don't go for the wide guard, their best bet is to click sulk here. And I can always reset my dozo next turn. Or if they hit the self cure into armor root, that's also still fine. Expanding force, so no wide guard came out. Should have just dropped or could have just dropped, clicked muddy water, clicked expanding force and killed things. Now, the question is, are they just leaving armor root on the field though? Especially if they have something like the Koros in the back here. They will just leave armor root here because they can awkward get that. And there's the self cure, that's fine. That's gonna start adding up in damage. I will switch back into Tatsugiri though. Mm, do I have to? I think I have to. I have to risk the Tatsugiri, and that's the problem now. Because they'll... Mm, because they salt cure the switch in. And if they salt cure the switch in, I've lost. Right? So, I mean, I could switch it up. Hmm. What if I did it this way and just get as much damage off as I... I like it this way. This is probably my best play. Because they will salt cure the switch in right now. And I mean I'm gonna be minus I'm gonna be only plus one, but it's time to just start clicking order up into Tauros and hope I can get massive damage. That's simply put, that's the only way to get the only way out of this is to start out damaging them with Thondozo and then hopefully have Armor Rouge outpace. Hopefully have Armor Rouge outpace the Garg in the endgame. I'm gonna get back to plus one right now. This is an interesting endgame. This is a very interesting endgame. 
Uh, let's see. Attack boost. This is okay. We can we can work with this. I can work with this. It's because it should be now an aqua jet into what was the armor rage. They have to kind of go for that. They have to take me down. And if I can focus on killing Tauros, it gives me an outside shot. If I can kill Tauros before Dondozo goes down, and that's the only question left. In, only question left right now. I cannot kill Tauros before Dondozo goes down. Um. Although what I can do is start wave crashing and maybe kill the guard. Like that doesn't help me versus the Tauros, but knowing I can't kill the Tauros right now anyways, I, I might as well wave crash. Because if I kill guard, it actually gives me an outside shot. Because guard can't Terra. But that one turn with the wide guard call, I got wrong and we're going to lose. If I just stay in and click Muddy Water, I actually probably win the game. Because Muddy Water Expanding Force should shred things. They're going to protect the Tauros. That's why, another reason not to hit it. If Wave Crash can kill Garg, we can win this game. Come on, plus one Dozo. Come on, Dozo. Do the job, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> All right, that Dozo is broken. Um, we still potentially win this. I will order up into... Uh, yes, this is, this is GG. We win. Because we have it pinned. Unless we miss an attack, it's game over. Because right now it's pinned into the fact that... Do I die to this right now? No, right? Okay, nice. So I die next turn. Th their best play is to go double protect. And I'll go for the order up to get the chip damage off. And it's going to come down to if Draco Meteor can kill. Real Aqua Jet, they're going to go for the kill. It is not going to get it. I do think best their best play was double protect. Order up's going to come on out, which is very, very nice here. Making it... In, uh, in Draco Meteor range as well. So now they have to pick a target. Because if it is Dissiox spread, it's just Raging Bull, Close Combat, Aqua Jet Protect. Meaning they're going to be forced to pick a target here. And they can't pick both targets. And both of them can kill the Tauros. So, yeah. Did I create a good team by accident? Did I accidentally create a good team? That's already on the field. I'm dumb. Uh, Armor Rouge is gonna come on in. Did I accidentally create a good team? I, I think I might have accidentally done something here, guys. I, I might have accidentally done something. I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm a Draco Meteor, and I'm an Expanding Force here. Their best play is to hope that Tatsugiri can't kill them. So they will go for the Raging Bolt into the Armor Rouge. Uh, but Draco Meteor gonna come on out. And Tauros is gonna go down. And that is going to seal the day at 3-0 with... I don't know what to even call this team. Colossal Dozo? I don't know. This team is a mess. This team is a mess. It's it's probably the most cursed team in the format or to ever be created or up there for sure if it's not the most. Uh, and with that, I mean, yo, you know what would have made this better? I should have put Flamigo on it. Missed opportunity. That's a huge missed opportunity without the Flamigo. But regardless, but... Regardless, that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you all so much for watching. Enjoy Colossal Dozo, I guess. And uh, I will catch you guys in a future video.